filet one. Right, look at the, sorry, I'm not a, boot, a beauty guru, so you can't, that's good. You know, you see how it is? And then when you look at the Popeye, it's like, yes, it looks like grilled chicken, but it doesn't look like it needs to be a sandwich. It looks like it should be like on the side with- So we are live. Hello, everybody. It's Nigerian XO here. I'm so happy to be back. I just love being with you people. I feel like you can feel my energy. I can feel your energy. Anyway, lots of people were talking about, hey, Popeyes is making a new sandwich. Chick-fil-A has the original sandwich. Wendy's likes to badmouth everybody because, you know, they are on a budget. You know, they can't always come up with the newest stuff. So anyway, Wendy's, Popeyes, and Chick-fil-A, I see what you guys are making, so I'm going to try and taste it. That's what I said to myself in my brain. I said, don't give me the original one, give me the spicy one, because I'm the number one spice man. If you want to have a feud about spicy chickens, the only one who can resolve the feud is Nigerian XO. So I, I'm making this video <laughs> to bless you guys, to show you what the number one spicy sandwich is. So I went to Chick-fil-A, I went to Popeyes, I went to Wendy's myself. I did not send my driver. I did not send any of my servants or the ladies who helped me out. None of my wives bought this stuff for me. I bought it myself. As proof, I also have me video of me going to those places. So enjoy this whole video of all this stuff I just said. Me driving, me whatever. I'm going to start with driving, then I'm, gonna, then I'm going to go to eating. Start with driving, go to eating. I'm giving you a long synopsis because I don't want you to be confused while you are watching the videos. I know sometimes American people, you have short attention span. So I want you to, to tell you right away what's going to be happening. Anyway, I don't usually record intros, but I just realized, hey, let me bless them extra with some good intro. And right now I'm feeling like I'm doing a really good job. So I'm glad I decided to make this intro. Thank you for Lucky for the idea to make this intro. You're welcome. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. One thing is for sure. Popeyes, you are now ready for the energies. You don't have the facilitation to be able to handle this kind of load. The line is long. Even myself, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get in my car and leave. It's ridiculous. I have a feeling I'm going to be waiting 20 plus minutes for two chicken sandwiches, spicy. She didn't get the extra mail on the side. I can almost assuredly say there's not going to be any extra mail. I'm not going to go back for it at all. Congratulations, Popeyes. You have played yourself. You can't handle this level of activity. Chick-fil-A would never, Chick-fil-A would never have me waiting like this. I'm sweating as if there's no air conditioning in the building. How come a long line means you can't afford air conditioning? It's ridiculous. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I have secured the bag. The bag is secure. Look at this. The bag is secure. Now, I'm going to do something kind of disrespectful. Because I'm at Chick-fil-A. It's time for us to understand the truth of the matter right now. So I have to get both sandwiches. I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to get both sandwiches so I can do the test very well and tell you which one is better. Let's see what's going to happen. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Oh, no line. You see, this is why I love you, Chick-fil-A. Even though you have lots of people, you don't have a long line because you know how to deal with this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm already more liking this sandwich. To be honest, it doesn't seem like Chick-fil-A is bothered at all. Still moving at top speed. No customer crisis at all. They are taking a little bit too long on my sandwich though. A little bit too long. But it seems like they are... It seems to me like they are fine. Look at that. Look at that. It seems like everything is okay. Ah. Oh. Up, you guys, you know, I had to go for the full trifecta, you know what I mean? So, you can only guess where I'm at right now. I 
that's correct am i wendy's it does not look like wendy's is as popular oh, look at myself but it's fast ready just like that thank you so much <laughs> so you can't always do the accent you know what i mean <laughs> you're welcome this was also by far the most expensive of the sandwiches. I don't understand. Popeyes, four dollar sandwich. And um, what's the other place? Chick Fil A. I believe it was some, something like three dollars fifty cents. Now Wendy's wants to charge me five dollars fifty cents. What's going on? What is going on? Wendy's, you better be the number one sandwich. You better be the number one sandwich. You better be the number one sandwich for what you are charging me right now. You better be. You better be. <laughs> I think I'm playing around. What's up, people? <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the, the, the Nigerian EXO channel. I don't have my own channel, that's why I'm on the Kenya channel. Thank you for coming and finding me here. Today's a big day. <laughs> you know, I'm the number one spice man, Nigerian EXO! Number one spice man. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Today I'm doing something that's really hot on the presses. Everyone's talking about this kind of stuff. And so I'm excited to do it. You know, everyone loves to come to my channel. And I, I thank you for coming back to my channel, Kinyo channel. And you, you might know me from the Nigerian EXO uh, Village Road, Old Town Road remix I did. That's now going viral. It's been going viral since I posted it. It has lots of views. And I'm sure it's also upping out a little now. So you are welcome to like us. You know, add my 600 views. 700 views that's how many views is that right now add that to your own you know buy something nice for yourself that's what i do here at nigeria xo television <laughs> and yes I, I try to help people bless them anyway you might know me from that go check that video out go watch it in your free time but today we are doing something very big something that everyone is talking about <laughs> that's called the the, the the popeyes sandwich challenge you know, I got all spicy, so this is the spicy, the spicy chicken sandwich challenge, which is perfect for me because <laughs> I'm the number one spice man. Who else is going to do the spicy chicken sandwich? I didn't get the plain one, the bland one, because that won't even titillate my senses. So I got the spicy chicken and three different kinds of spicy chicken. Everyone is saying, oh, Popeyes, you came out with a new sandwich. You, you must be very good. Let me tell you, my, my experience at Popeyes was not that good. The line was too long. I could tell they were overwhelmed. If you are expecting big people, is it not right for, for me to expect that you have extra service on hand? It's not a big deal. <laughs> anyway, um, the, the Popeyes um, sandwich was about $4, I believe. I believe the Chick-fil-A sandwich was about $3.50. You know, this Wendy's, these people, they charged me about $5 for the sandwich. I said, Wendy's, you better have the best sandwich. Anyway, we'll see. So I'm going to just open up the, the different, I'm going to cut, cut them as well, you know, um, my, 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 one of my wives is also going to eat with me off camera, off camera, madam please, <laughs> please do not disturb my video when I'm recording, this is me direct with the people, <laughs> of course you are beautiful, they love you too, okay. amen to Palake, Palake, is there a knife, do you have a knife, mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay, thank you, this is a real bush knife, this is the kind of knife we use when we are in the bush, See a wooden handle so you don't get electrocuted in case you are cutting into an eel, electric eel. Anyway, so right now I'm going to open up all the sandwiches so you can see them. This one I don't need to cut because I had enough uh, money to get two of these. You no, know, every time when I was at these different places swiping my swiping my card, swiping my card, I said, oh my gosh, I hope they don't deny this card because I don't know if it's sufficient to be buying all these kinds of food in one day. Anyway, so I have two sandwiches. For my my first wife for like it. Again, some of you didn't get that joke the first time. Anyway, I'm not going to explain myself. You don't need to know my lifestyle. So this is the first sandwich. You know, I'm just going to show the packages first. You know, Popeyes has a very nice package. Look at that. It, it, it's kind of like the Domino's heat bag where it's supposed to hold the, in the heat. The problem with Popeyes is the, the employees. <laughs> because they give you this kind of nice bag, but they don't seal the bag. So the, the, if you don't if you don't close the bag like this, the heat just flies from the top. Popeye's employees, it's okay. I want to one in San Antonio, so I don't want to get you guys in trouble. So this is the first one. Let's open the second bag from Chick Fil A. And Chick Fil A also, oh my gosh, you see, 
Chick fil A is putting Popeyes to shame. Look, look how the bag is uncrinkled. Compared to the way that they put it, they sealed it. Not just one fold. Whoever folded this one did a double fold. You want to hit folded it? Fold it again. That's Chick fil A service for you. Okay? I'm just telling you, Chick fil A is on fire. But they also have the same kind of bag where it's foil in the inside. So I know that's going to keep it toasty. Now let's go to Wendy's. The people are telling me $5. Okay. Okay, so it's like they, they didn't have the bag at Wendy's, but they have some kind of foil wrapper. So it's just very generic. Wendy's chicken. All of these are spicy sandwiches. I need to cut these two in half for my first wife, for lucky. But. I'm going to eat them all one by one. This one's not getting cut in half. Okay. They also have different kinds of toppings on them, different kinds of mayonnaise. Let's look at these sandwiches. Let's look at these sandwiches. Why am I making you wait? Which one to start Also, I got some Chick fil A sauces to go on the side because I'm not going to go to Chick fil A and not get Chick fil A sauces. Huh? Which one should we do first? We're gonna we're gonna take a look at the, the Popeyes one first. Take a look. I'm opening it up. It's kinda wet. It's a little moist because it's been inside the bag. You can see. Let me show you this sandwich very well. I'm gonna get up so I can give you a close up. Take a look at that. This is the Popeye sandwich. Looks delicious. The bread is soft. It doesn't look like anything really crazy actually. That's that typical Popeye's chicken inside. You see some of the. Uh -huh. You see some of the. Um, I think yours had the extra mayo on it. They have a spicy mayo on there. On the bottom. No pickles, it's okay. No pickles, no nothing. Just the chicken. Okay, good job. Place that one here. Okay, let's go on to Chick fil A. Many of you know Chick fil A very well. Let me show you the Chick fil A. You don't need to see my face. This is about the sandwiches. Look at that Chick fil A. Smaller, true. The chicken already looks better to me, honestly. I like this kind of look on my chicken. The spicy. And look at that. Two pickles. I love pickles. Thank you, Chick fil A. That's good. Looks good. Slow motion, slow motion for me, slow motion for me. <laughs> Some of you don't know, I like to get down sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's open up the, the Wendy's one. I don't think I've ever had a Wendy's one. So this is the Wendy's sandwich. It's starting to get messy here, look at all these wrappers. Not hip hop wrappers, <laughs> just regular wrappers. So this is the, the Wendy's sandwich, it's a full sandwich, it has some kind of green tomato on it. Why is the tomato green? Oh, look at that. The tomatoes are a little green. That's okay. You don't have to have fresh tomatoes all the time. These are actually the kind of tomatoes we eat in my hometown. So that's good. Yeah, yeah look at that. Mm. That's the chicken. Looks kind of good. Mm. Looks okay. Looks like Wendy's. This was the most expensive one, by the way. So I'm going to cut these two in half so that my darling can also eat and enjoy. In fact, I should have just cut it in half like you should the one off camera that way. I have to be standing, sitting, standing, and sitting. Anyway, cut that in half. Cut this one in half. The budget was not enough for this for me to go. Not, not that I don't have money. You know, Nigerian like so a rich man. Anyway, take this. That's the Wendy's again. Mm -hmm. This is the Chick fil A. The Chick fil A. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to jump inside of these right now. Inside. Please pray with me. <clears throat> Thank you, Heavenly Father, for today. Thank you, O Lord God, that you have allowed us to sit down to have a meal. O Lord God, we know that all meals come from you. We know that you are blessing us. We pray that you will bless also the hands that prepared these, the workers of those locations. We pray also, Lord God, from, for, for the source, the money that came out of my pocket that you have blessed me to have. We, we thank you for that money, O Lord God. We pray that this food will be nutritious to us. Oh pray God. for Popeye's employees and their attitude. I, I was going to pray for them, but when I'm talking to the Lord, I like to be serious. <laughs> so, let me also keep my prayer on those who do not have food. You know, we are sitting here enjoying plenty of food, but some don't have food. God also bless them. And it's true, any employees that are not fulfilled in their job, that's causing them to do lackluster service. Please bless them, oh Lord God. Help them to find enlightenment. Thank you, oh Lord God, for this food. And I pray that you bless it. And I help you to nourish us in Jesus' name. I pray, Amen. Okay, I prayed. Oh, I almost forgot to say, Lord, please bless anyone who's watching this show because if they are watching that dear next they are blessing your child. I'm your child, so they are blessing me. Thank you. God bless every one of you viewers in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyway, 
Let's begin the test test. Okay, since I'm Nigerian XO, the number one spice man. Thank you, madam. Thank you, madam. God bless you. Thank you. Um, since I'm the number one spice man, you know that I'm not judging this on taste. Because I'm not the number one taste man. I'm judging it on spice alone. Okay, the, uh, Falake will help me judge on taste because her taste buds are very accurate. Me, I can eat goat, I can eat pig. I don't really know the difference unless the spice is different. You know, I'm not that kind of man who's always looking for flavor. So I'm going to rate these based on taste. Okay. Falake will give me her spice. judgment. Oh, spice, sorry. I'm going to rate it based on spice. Falake will give me her judgment based on taste. Okay. But let's break into this right now. Let's we'll break start into with this. What, which one? I think we'll go ahead and start with the, the number one contender, Popeyes, because they are the ones who are causing all this controversy. So let's no, go. No, let's just start with Chick fil A since they've been around to see how much different. That's a good idea to yeah. see. Let's start with Chick fil A. That way we can move into the spice. Yeah. See if our mind is blown. So I'm going to take a bite of this delicious Chick fil A. I can That's see the pickle there. Cheers. Cheers. I can see my pickle, so I'm going to take a bite where the pickle is. Easy line to Mmm. Oh, wow. Let me tell you. Mmm. The spice is coming through. For me, this is not spicy, though. This is not spicy at all. Do you have any sriracha sauce? I'll give, I'm, I'm going to add some sriracha for the next bite. For the first bite, I can tell you the chicken is of good quality. That's one thing I'm not going to lie at all with chicken. The chicken is of good quality. It feels like real chicken. The spice comes through. The pickle is nice. The bread is soft. You know, it's good. It's generally, it's generally pretty good. The bread, you know, I actually kind of wish the bread had a little bit more something to it, a little bit more kick. You know, I wish the bread had a little bit more. Well, we'll see. I'm gonna take one more small bite. Mm -hmm. It tastes spicy to me. Mm -hmm, it's spicy. Yeah, I think the spice kind of builds. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. The spice does build. It's crunchy. Okay. Okay. Let's go into the the Popeyes now. Are you guys ready? The, the very hyped up Popeyes chicken sandwich. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm nervous. Hmm. Okay, I have to say right now because I've seen lots of videos of people all online everywhere doing this kind of challenge. I saw Tema Tema Jackson. Braxton. Tema Braxton. She was on. She on, caught the Holy Ghost eating. It. She said she was eating. She was dancing around. You know, also in different areas they have a different quality of fast food, so I, you can't really judge or say it's all the same. But I can tell you right now, the chicken is huge. The portion of food is big for four dollars. This is a four dollar. Uh, sandwich $3.99. The amount of chicken is huge. Let me show you the chicken again in case you didn't see it compared to chicken. That's like a whole like chicken breast. It's, it's huge. And the bread. It tastes like sweet. Yeah, it's a little bit sweet. It's not the same thing as this one. It's a little bit sweet. Um but there's also a slight I told you I'm not taste man, but there's a slight burnt flavor. Am I wrong? Am I alone on this one? No. It's <laughs> like it's like I can taste the oil has been used a few, maybe too many times. You have to like bite it a couple of times to actually like to register the flavor. Mm -hmm. To me, I'm not really picking up a lot of flavor mm -hmm. and I don't like the consistency of the chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken's a little weird. It's kind of like if you shredded chicken and then you like, maybe I'm wrong because even like, yeah, I'll put it in camera. Well, like, whose video is this? Well, is this the video for Nigeria like so? Or is this your own video? Well, yes, you can go watch Folake's video <laughs> on her own channel. It's called Folake.com. <laughs> go to Folake.com to see her, her own channel. Or you might be able to find her some other places. She's on Instagram. Go to Danny Vic at, uh, at Danny Vic on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can find her there. <laughs> -A but she's right. -A she's right. I didn't mean to cut you off. Actually, I was just you, you can continue. Please give them your full analysis. Okay, I was gonna say like, if you look at this. Okay, I'm gonna show you the Chick Fil A one. Right. Look at the. Sorry, I'm not a, boot, a beauty guru, so you can't. That's good. You know, you see how it is. And then when you look at the Popeyes, like yes, it looks like real chicken, 
but it doesn't look like it needs to be a sandwich. It looks like it should be like on the side with like some coleslaw or something exactly. like that. Exactly. And you know, that's the kind of chicken Popeyes make. So they don't know how to really divert from their main recipe. I should have gone to KFC as well. You well, have to you have to bite it a couple of times to actually get flavor to me. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the Wendy's now. This was the, the chief expensive one. And it has tomatoes and everything like that. I don't really like tomatoes, so that might take away from it. Let's cheers the sandwich. Here's the 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 Wendy's one again. Oh. Wendy's Wendy's. For this to be the most expensive one, it's yeah, the chicken does not look like chicken. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I haven't bit it yet, but so it's far orange, look good. the chicken looks like a chicken tender to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That kind of chicken tender look where it looks like it was chicken that was put back together after it was broken up. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna take a bite. It does not look like a like a like a like a good you know breast or anything like that that was that was put together. And then even the breading, you can see that looks like the kind of um, the fish sticks that some <laughs> some of these young white boys bring that they are eating. Their moms make them the fish sticks. You know what I'm talking about? No, I don't see the, the black children eating it as much. They eat it as well in America, the fish sticks, black and white. Mm, I've had them like once or twice. Maybe it's just an American thing. Please don't accuse me of being racist. <laughs> I do not prefer one race over the other race. I love all races exactly the same. I also dislike lots of people from all races exactly the same. <laughs> so so don't worry. Don't worry. Don't the worry. lettuce kind of looks like it, even though this is not a fucking like your video, but mm. uh, the lettuce looks old. All right, you ready? I'm gonna go ahead and bite it. The bread also looks like the kind of bread that you make PP, still. PPB and J sandwich. It's a little old, you know, because you had it, it above the refrigerator for too long. Feels yeah, still. It looks a little straight. Let's take a bite. Okay. Mm. Yeah, well. Okay. So it definitely tastes more like it's very spicy compared to the other two, actually. <laughs> Strangely enough. This is the spiciest one I bought beat into. Uh oh. I said I was gonna rate on spicy alone. Wendy's might have to win. I love the chicken. I am not so I'm the I'm the number one most spicy please, madam. When it comes to spice, nobody knows. Like <laughs> Nigerian XO knows. Number one spice man. Wow. I might have to give this one number one just based on spice. Even though the chicken is, is less quality. The breading is less quality. The bread is less quality. The tomato actually helps a little bit because everything else is so less quality. But the spice, the kick is actually hitting me the biggest on this one. I have to be honest. I have to be honest. The <laughs> spice is hitting me on this one. I have to open up this chick fil sauce because I'm not going to just sit here and not, not enjoy my blessed life. God has blessed me. You want me to judge it on taste? To be able to... To be, oh, are we ready to give ratings? Let's give the ratings right, right away. Let's okay. give the ratings. Okay. All right, you do your spice rating. You said. Okay. Okay. Before I in, get into the the good sauce, um, spice ready. If I rate these three sandwiches on spice, you guys want to know who the winner is? The winner of the spicy chicken sandwich challenge <laughs> today is going to be Wendy's. It's going to be Wendy's. I'm going to give two ratings actually though. But Wendy's is the number one spicy sandwich. For those who are looking for a kick in spice, I have to tell you, you are hearing this from Nigerian XO himself. This is the spicy one. Wendy's, you have one. And if I'm going to give number two to spice, I'm going to give it to Popeyes and Chick-fil-A. So number one, Wendy's, Popeyes number two, Chick-fil-A, you are number three. This is the spicy category alone. Uh, I'll let Falake give you the flavor stuff while I continue to eat. Okay. <clears throat> I think if I'm going by spice first, surprisingly, I thought Chick fil A was spicier. Maybe I just got a spicy piece. Um, You're not supposed to do spice. You're supposed to be doing flavor. Oh, taste. Okay. Taste. Okay. So for taste. I'm supposed to steal my own job. For taste. Even though I really didn't want to give it to this, these people because they have like 80 million ingredients in their stuff, I would have to give Chick-fil-A be best taste. Mm -hmm. I kind of agree with that. And then second, it sounds really weird. Second, I would probably give to Wendy's and I would give Popeye's third just because 
I don't like the consistency of the chicken from Popeyes. Popeyes. I think it's Popeye sandwich in Chick Fil A sauce. I think that it's too much chicken. Like on, it just seems like somebody put like a thigh, no, like a breast, on some bread. Mm. I don't really taste the flavor. Maybe I should try to get some more of the mayo mm. sauce on there. You guys are chickened out already. I know y'all think, oh, it's supposed to be a mukbang. We can't eat a lot. I'm cool. Look at mine. Mm hmm. I like I just took one, one bite each. She's already full, just like me. Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep eating because I'm gonna mukbang. Might as well finish the whole thing. But, um. You gotta do. I'm interested. I wanna. Thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Let what me pick it up. My dog is a I'm probably just gonna edit the logos in, but let me, let me do a thumbnail. That's good. It's <laughs> my thumb. Uh, it's good, it's good, it's good. I wanna see, you know, I'm actually, I might watch some other videos videos to see you know what other people are really saying i saw some other videos where like they were there's these new cap these newscasters and they had a lot of them and each one of them picked something different but hung out said he just like grew up eating wendy's and he just likes the wendy's sandwiches which is not bad i don't think that wendy's sandwich is you worth grew it. up eating wendy's that's child abuse <laughs> but i I, think, I don't think wendy's is bad i don't think it should be that expensive and then chick-fil-a actually you know i'm very serious about that thing i just said for those of you parents out there, <laughs> I'm very serious right now. You are, you are letting your, li your, your children eat a fast food life. What are you doing? Do you know what this kind of stuff eating regularly is doing to the body? You want your child to grow up into, into a life of hypertension? In, into a life of sluggishness? Diabetes? In, into a life of not in, 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 di diabetes? Into a life of not understanding the differences of good food, this sandwich costs five dollars, five dollars and fifty cents. Please don't tell me you are doing it because it's it's cheap. Not only are you giving your children bad food, I feel bad right now. But not only are you giving your children bad food, but you are wasting the family's money. You can head to H E B, get a whole chicken for five dollars, feed the whole family. You have to stop right now. <clears throat> Tell me you will stop. If you comment on this video and you are feeding your child a fast food life, say I will stop. Nigeria next you have changed my life. Say that in the comments. Thank you. Anyway, that was my public service announcement. In Nigeria, we don't eat this kind of stuff. I'm going to have to do a, a mukbang of Nigerian food mm -hmm. so you guys can really see. In fact, on the Kenyan channel, I did a little guest spot. I didn't get any recognition at all, but I did some Nigerian stew cooking. Go figure out how to cook, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that hard. I might start my own box delivery service where I send you, this is how you make a goosey stew. This is how you make red stew. This is how you make different kinds of healthy stuff. Healthy. Healthy. Anyway, change your life. <laughs> Don't live the old kind of way. Live a new way. So anyways, the, newscast, the newscasters were like, each one liked um, something different. I don't know, like, I knew that this was going to be overhyped. I just had a feeling that it was going to be overhyped. Because, like, anytime, like, um, like, when McDonald's came out with the international menu, like, that was super overhyped. Mm -hmm. I might look a little uncomfortable. That's because I'm starting to feel the negative health effects of fast food. <laughs> My body's like, hey, your sodium has spiked. My sodium is now through the roof at least three times the day. So this is probably I can't do the math right now over a thousand calories I'm trying to get a little weak. I'm gonna have to sleep. I, I Have to sleep after this kind. I need to drink lots of water flush my system out and sleep Let it be known that this challenge should not be a challenge. I Don't want to spread the wrong kind of stuff, you know This kind of food may, may not be healthy at all Let's give attention to some people who are more healthier. And I'm going to end the video right here so that you end with that serious note. Thank you so much for watching another Nigerian EXO. How much time have we recorded already? 23. Oh, that's good. 23 minute video for you? Okay, great. 
I have to go. Goodbye. <clears throat> Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I ended the video too soon. Please continue watching. With me, Nadira Nick. So, Polaki, take it away. So, I was gonna say on the spice level, even though I'm not the spice queen, I would say that Chick fil A has a spicier sandwich. Mm. Oh no, spice man, you need water? <clears throat> Trust me, I'm the number one spice man. The spice is not for this. The water is not for the spice. The water is for the sodium. I think I might. I'm on the way to hypertension. I have a challenge for spice. Okay. For number one spice. Man. I eat too much, guys. I'm not gonna finish Wendy's, so I should. That should tell you what I think about the Wendy sandwich. It's the only one that didn't get finished. I love Chick fil A sauce. Mm -mm. I do, I do. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, actually, that would have been good. I should have put some sriracha habanero on this, but it's okay. You know, for the people, I'll do one spicy thing. Bring, bring something. Let me, let me show you guys how to spice it. Actually, this was already the spiciest one. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna add a little bit, bring a little bit of sriracha for me, madam. It's in the top right, top right, sriracha. I didn't know that refrigerator had four, three different levels. Get a little sriracha. If you don't have sriracha, oh my gosh, my sriracha is running low. I'm gonna have to head to the sriracha store, to, to the, the the Asian store, Korean store. They're so good at HEB. <clears throat> oh yeah, HEB store. This is, I can't end the video as number one spice man and not really take up the spice level. You see how much sriracha? That's a lot of sriracha. Level? Most of you can't do this. If you can do this bite I'm about to do, then you're on my level. I'm still number one spice man, but you're on my level. I'm too full. That's not even, oh, that's spicy though. <laughs> Quite spicy. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. You see, now I'm starting to sweat good. I feel better a little bit. Mm. That was good. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm the number one. What is it? Spice Man. Spice Man. Number one. Spice Man. Spice Man. Number one. Spice Man. Not number two. Number one. Spice Man. You're also number one in your own life. Continue to be blessed. Make good decisions. Only take your kids to fast food once a week and you will live a long life blessed. Thank you, Popeyes. Thank you, uh, Wendy's. Thank you, Chick-fil-A for the service and you have provided for me today. Uh, God bless you and good night. It's good afternoon. Afternoon.